switch on this LED lamp I bought online is broken. I can't turn it off. Is there a number you can call? I'll have a look. Oh, here's a number and a one-year warranty. But it's in simplified characters. Well, call the number and see what they say. Well, what'd they say? They said to mail it to them. At first they said I'd have to pay 250 NT dollars for repairs, but I've only had it for five months. So did you mention the one-year warranty? Yes, but they said that warranty is only for the PRC, and that the warranty in Taiwan is only for three months. Did you argue with them? Yes, I said that was the only warranty included with the lamp, and I asked them if they give better service to their PRC customers than their Taiwan ones. What'd he say then? He very begrudgingly said, Okay, we'll fix it. Send it over. So I did. But what lousy service. Hey, look, that's Angela. Who's Angela? A student in our department from about four years ago. She's on TV. She looks great. She's singing one of my favorite songs of hers. So you know her personally? Yes, a little. We had some friends in common. She was a top student, but sort of quiet. She was in France for a year as an exchange student. Then, when she returned to Taiwan, she suddenly burst onto the scene as a singer? No, not suddenly. For a while, she was translating movie subtitles. Kind of a dead-end job? Yes, she got really tired of it. She couldn't see any future in it. It didn't pay all that well, either. And the we-need-it-yesterday deadlines were killing her. So then, she started writing her own songs and performing them in pubs, accompanying herself on the guitar. Later, she added some more instrumentalists. She has a nice voice, and the lyrics are really thoughtful. She's just put out her second CD. I can get you one if you want. That would be great. I'll show it off to everybody and tell them I know somebody who knows somebody famous. Make sure you log out before leaving. This is a public computer. Doesn't it always log out by itself after a while? Some programs do, but others don't. Yesterday I opened Gmail on this same computer, and a friend's inbox was right there in front of my eyes open on the page. So what did you do? Did you peek at a few of their emails? I sure was tempted. I only saw the list of senders. And then? Well, actually I did have a quick look at one email. Ha <laughs> ha, Snoop! What did you see? Nothing very exciting at all, but I felt pretty lousy about it. So... So then I logged out for the friend and checked my own mail. And you made sure to log out before you left? I most certainly did. Are you okay? You don't sound too good. I don't feel good. I haven't been sick for ages, but now I have a full-blown cold. I'm coughing and sneezing all over the place, and my ears are plugged up. Are you taking anything for it? No, just lots and lots of rest and warm water. Is there anything I can do for you? Yes, as a matter of fact. Could you please finish all my work for me? I, uh... Oh, that's okay. I'll just hand everything in late. Traffic is moving so slowly in this lane. Look over there. That's why. Yikes, a motorcyclist is lying on the side of the road next to his bike. And a big van has pulled over on the other side of the road. I hope someone has called for help. I'm guessing the van driver has. He's probably okay. An ambulance should be coming up soon, then. No ambulance yet, but look at that big yellow flower-covered hearse going by. That can't have anything to do with the accident, but what a creepy coincidence. Whew, gives me the shivers. Where's the 7-Eleven? There used to be one here, but it's gone now. Let's look around. We could go above ground. I don't want to go that far out of our way. What is it you want? An I-Bond machine so I can get a high-speed rail ticket for tomorrow. You know, we could just go over to the HSR vending machines and you'd save the 30 NT handling fee besides. We are in Taipei Main Station, you know. Oh yeah, we are, aren't we? Taipei to Taichung is 1,400 NT dollars round trip. I've got two 1,000 NT dollar bills here. Wait a minute, let's read the instructions first. 
It says change given only in coins. So that means I'll end up with 600 NT in heavy coins if I get the tickets here? Uh, how about if we ask at the information desk for change? Okay. Excuse me, could you change a 1,000 NT dollar bill? I need some hundreds for the machine. We don't give change, but there's a bill changer right over there you can use. Thank you. And thank you, Jason, first for saving me 30 NT, then for lightening my stash of 50 NT coins by 600 NT. Gifts of food are great, but what are you going to do with all those very ripe bananas? Make some banana cake, what else? Want to help? Sure, what should I do? Get the whole wheat flour, salt, an egg, and milk from the fridge. Okay, here you go. We have some fresh blueberries. Let's add those in, and some chopped pecans and coconut. Yum. I'll peel and mash the bananas. Ah, fruit flies. I'll take care of the wet ingredients. I'll beat the egg and stir in the oil, milk, honey, vanilla, and mashed banana. Then I guess I'll measure and mix the dry ingredients, the flour, salt, baking powder, and cinnamon. Okay, time to put them together. The nuts and blueberries go in last. Be careful not to crush the blueberries. I've oiled the pan. How long should it bake? About 40 minutes, I guess. <sighs> Smells good. It should be done by now. A bit more than done, I'd say, as in just a tiny bit scorched. But that's okay. We can just trim off the edges and bottom. My hair is getting too long, but I'm not that satisfied with my current hairdresser. So let's find you a new one. How about that shop? Okay, what the heck. Hi. How much is a wash and cut? 499 anti dollars. Would you like to request a particular stylist? No, it's my first time here. Anybody who's really good is fine. Just lie back and relax. Is the level of pressure about right? Yes, it's fine. And I'd like conditioner, please. Sure. I'm going to start the second lathering now. Would you like some Q-tips? How'd you like it cut? I'd like my bangs on the back trimmed, and I'd like the rest thinned out a bit and layered. Where would you like the part? On the left, right about here. Here, have a look. What do you think? It's fine. Here's a thousand NT dollars. It's 30 NT extra for the rents. Here's your change and receipt. Thank you, and please come again. So, how do you like it? It could have been worse, but you'll notice that I didn't ask her for her card. Hmm, yeah. Maybe you can try that place over there next time. <sighs> What's with you? You didn't sleep well last night? No, not really. Cramming for an exam? Wanted to finish a movie? Too much coffee? None of the above. I was unable to shut out expressions of tenderness between my roomie and her new BF. Ah, when did that start? Exactly two days ago. They were Skyping till after 3 a.m. Didn't you ask her to save it till daytime? Yeah, I did. So then she started using a headset. But that didn't do much to shut out the giggles. Wow, you look sharp today. Oh, thanks. Must be the new shirt. Yeah, you have really good taste. My girlfriend's the one with the good taste. She picked it out for me. Actually, I don't think it's just the shirt. You look really happy. Oh, yeah, I did okay on one of my midterms. For which subject? French. I even got a compliment from the professor. Made my day. Happy birthday, Jason. I hope you like it. Wow, I didn't think anybody would remember. This is so sweet of you. Wow, a calculator. Just what I needed. My old one is broken. Thanks so much. I love it. Do you have time this evening? I'd like to take you out to a new restaurant I've discovered. I'm overwhelmed. Sure. When and where should we meet? At the Xinjiang side gate at 6 p.m. See you then. Okay, see you then. I'm leaving for San Francisco this coming Tuesday. 
Would you be available to take me to the airport? What time is your flight? It leaves at 11.40 p.m. Ha, huh, a red eye. Sure, no problem. I'll pick you up at your place around 8. Thanks so much. This really helps me out a lot. Which terminal does your flight leave from? It's EVA Air, so Terminal 2. I'll miss you. We can stay in touch over Skype. Where's the closest bathroom in this building, do you know? Yes, it's at the end of the hall on the right. Thanks. Uh, could you spare a tissue or two? They're out of paper. Or maybe they're just cheap. Probably the latter. Here you are. Thanks! You were a Boy Scout, weren't you? Actually, no, I wasn't. I wasn't that crazy about knot tying. Why do you ask? Looks like you follow their motto better than I do. Be prepared. This is something everybody should prepare for, not just former Boy Scouts, don't you think? Hi, Jason. I just saw that it's 9 a.m. and I just woke up. Weren't you the one who's always prepared? Uh, not this time. I was up till 3 a.m. finishing a report last night. The alarm didn't go off and I overslept. Could you please tell Professor May I'm really sorry and I'll get to class as soon as I can? Sure, but is it even worth coming? Class finishes at 10. I'm going to try. I feel terrible about this. This is so out of character for me. Professor May, Rob called to say he's sorry that he overslept and missed first hour. He's on his way now. This is pretty out of character for Rob. He's always on time with everything. That's what he said. He says he was up late finishing a report. Thanks for letting me know. Okay, everybody, back to work. You look like Rudolph. How do your nose get so red? I went river tracing this past weekend in Hualien. Wow, I've heard about it, but never tried it. How was it? I had a blast. You definitely should try it soon. Okay, so tell me about it. First you put on a bodysuit, a life jacket, boots, and a helmet. Then you walk over rocks upstream against the current with a horde of people. You have to work hard to keep your balance and keep moving forward. You say that was fun? Yes! When you're upstream, you dive into the river from a high rock, or let yourself down with a rope. It wasn't as scary as it looked. How do you get back? You just lie back and float and the current takes you back, like a human raft. But you have to watch out so your butt doesn't get hit by rocks. I'll have to try it sometime. I'm not about to be outdone by a girl. Is it just me or are we having an... It's an earthquake. Hang on tight. You too. Wow, this is a long one. I guess that's it for now. Nothing came crashing to the floor. Every time an earthquake hits, my first thought is to wonder if it's going to be another 921. Me too. We've been lucky so far. Wonder how everything is in the rest of the island. Hope everybody's okay. Haha, <laughs> it's fun watching all the earthquake posts popping up on Facebook. 